Lady gonna be trying to participate there. Mango is eaten. There's gonna be that smoke cloud dropped out as four heroes rotated. Night Stalker bit off more than he could chew. And the first blood goes the way of the Bat Rider off the back of an ice TV. Man, what a clutch time for that uh, smoke. Now Riki goes back to mid, tries to play a force here. Too bad the Marana doesn't have mana, but maybe they can oh, still get this kill. There's gonna be the smoke screen and <laughs> Morphling just gets clipped in the back, trying to move forward, at least taking out Brink with him. But even without an air, you backstab him, he just turns around like it tickles. There's gonna be the glimpse back in. Juggernaut's damage might just be enough to get this done. Ogre will end up going down. Now it looks like Disruptor might pay the ultimate price, does get swatted out, and there is gonna be no Omni Slash online to get revenge, so King Tekka should be able to get back safely. Yes, man, I did not realize how well he was keeping the Jug in check when it comes to CS. The fact that you're even with the, the enemy safe laner is, um, is really impressive. Judge! Oh god, he's dead. Oh, he drops, but uh, still <laughs> valiant attempt. Now, Ben has is going to be getting a lot out of this lane. Is gonna get grabbed up. I don't really know if he's able to escape the Oracle, doing his damnedest to keep him alive. And there's the Omni Slash dropped out. The Fairy Fire, though, eaten up. King Tech is actually gonna be able to get out alive. He stops, goes in for that void onto NRS. He's gonna have to back off and set his sights elsewhere. The Oracle will most likely end up burning down, but saving the Night Stalker is super crucial here. Now, the Morphling still gonna be going at it. Solitary Judge gonna be going in. Flame Break to try to buy himself some time. Meanwhile, over here, Juggernaut does fall to the Morphling, so really nice fight so far for Infamous. They get exactly what they want, only losing a support. They should be able to get this offlane bat as well. One more hit means Ogre has himself his first kill of the game. Another situation where I think Fox is trying to... Again, gathering the information, trying to go protect his buddy, but Brink might just be too far gone, gonna be popping out that nighttime. Meanwhile, Ben Jazz is gonna be stuck up in the Disruptor's kinetic field static storm. Morphling does get low, does get brought down. Disruptor gets the credit for that one. Looks like NRS looking to go further, does have the Omni. It's gonna be bouncing around to a variety of targets, but time he still wants to find something. He's gonna be poking his head into the jungle. There's pings out. Oh, Disruptor, he's so, so squishy. And with Ben Jazz rotating around, it's an easy two arrow kill for the Clinks. Now almost at that Desolator, needs less than 500 more gold to get that online. And they're going for more here. There is gonna be a Radiant Sentry, so they see out everyone in the Moonlight Shadow. Point Blank Arrow connects with the Snake, but Adaptive Strike comes back in as Morphling's looking for something on the back lines. There is gonna be a Lasso going forward as Batrider wants to get something done onto the Clinks, but that's an ambitious target, one that Solitary Judge does not have uh, the actual raw damage to take out instead he loses his own life five heroes in the mid lane they kill off two fox heroes and they continue to pressure towards that mid we are going to have a bit of a run in near the roche pit that rider wants to get something done nighttime popped out as well as moonlight shadow there's going to be an arrow way off the mark from marana looks like they lose the ogre but static storm not going to be doing a whole lot there dust popped out they want to get something Will they be able to find anything? The flame break comes back in. There's going to be a void as King Tekka looks to turn this on the aggressive. Gans is going to be going back in. They want to focus on the Batrider, though. There's going to be that four staff forward from that Hurricane Pike. And Adaptive Strike means they can easily finish off the bat. Down here, there was another kill. Uh, There's just blood everywhere pouring out onto the pavement. Double damage Marana is still up and still fighting. Now Disruptor comes back in, goes for the glimpse, actually gets him up onto the high ground. Maybe he'll be able to escape from this. They've got that gap closed there from the Ricky, but King Tekka is speedy. Another smoke cloud comes in. Vidi wants to find this, but looks to turn up. King Tekka mans up on the Ricky and outplays him. Oh, okay. moving forward. Who's the first one to pop it? Oh, it's a mid clash. Immediate dump down Excel is going to be caught in that uh, static storm and immediately picked out. So no Oracle to save any asses, but it seems like everyone backing off there. It's going to be a dust. It have been huge for Fox if they had a blink dagger on Batrider. Now they're actually going to get turned around on. Oh yeah, there's going to be that adaptive strike. Easy pickings on that disruptor. Solitary Judge could be going down as well. Oh, there's going to be a nice Omni Slash bouncing around though. Marana getting very, very low, leaping back to safety. She she ends up throwing out an arrow, but it's the last thing she does as she's picked off by the Night Stalker now. Oh, another waveform forward. It's looking really grim for the Juggernaut. He's the lone survivor and ends up getting completely wiped out. Fox, they started as the aggressors, as the team fight winners taking out an happen. He still doesn't have Blink. Oh, I mean, he's going to be waveforming away. There is no Omni Slash for a little bit. The flame break back and they do end right, up getting him in that set extra. I mean, he's morphing strength. He's living through an absurd amount of damage right now. Most likely eventually picked off, but that is a five hero commitment. Meanwhile, Fox are like, all right, uh, what are we doing? Ganks aren't really working out because Night Stalker now has a gem. Oh, speaking of vision though. Ben Jazz could be in some trouble. It's going to be dragged onto the cliff. Goes for the BKB. He's going to be trapped up in the kinetic field. And there's no real way for him to get down. 
So Fox kind of using that as a pause button. They should be able to get themselves out of there, clearing out Morphling's Replicate in the meantime. But they're going to re-engage here. They want to go in onto Excel. The Omni Slash cleans up the Oracle. And then he's going to hop in, goes into that protective form, does not want to be targeted by anything. Meanwhile, Aegis going to be popping back out. Benjaz is back. They go for the dust. They do have the lockdown available. Verana looking to solo out that Clinks are able to do so. Fantastic fight so far for Fox. They've got to be careful not to overstay their welcome, but they should be able to get this Ogre pick off. Juggernaut with the phase boots racing after him. He can turn and he can stun, but it might just be too late. That's going to be four heroes dead. A triple kill for the Juggernaut. Really, really well played area. They go for the dust. They are able to lock down the Oracle now, but not before Oracle is able to get off a really nice fortunes. And BKB is abound. Beatty is going to be the first one to hit the deck disruptor as well. You've got your BKB Night Stalker coming in, and he's angry. It's going to be nighttime pretty soon. All right, so rotations are going to come back on through. Judge leading the charge, but look at that adaptive strike. Immediate focus onto the disruptor. He's cleaned up. There's a kinetic field, but ain't going to do shit now. There's a cleanup onto the clinks. They look like they might be able to get the morphling as well. He's going to be protected by his BKB, by the Oracle, but he's on the wrong side of this uphill. He's going to be a little bit too far forward. He does eventually get cleaned up. This is still looking good for Fox if they can cut their losses here. Juggernaut gets very, very low, and now there is going to be that Ghost Scepter coming out from the Marana. She wants to chase down this Night Stalker. He pops his BKB, and is going to be going in for that TP home, so they're not able to cancel that. But still, getting down that Morphling, getting the Clinks down again, and not losing the Juggernaut Marana, Fox came out on top. Yeah, how'd that... I mean... Really want to finish that Roshan, but they've got to go back, defend their racks. They cannot afford to lose this. Now, King Tekka moving forward, get the silence off onto the Disruptor, who's now back at his base. Meanwhile, we've got a 1v3 going on. Sven Jazz could be in some trouble, gonna get slowed down. The Oracle ult can only keep him safe for so long. They're just gonna let him go here. He knows he's going down, strikes out a bit of damage onto the racks before he leaves. Now, it's gonna be uh, Morphling sitting back in the tree line. Has up, go for the melee racks while he knows the enemy team is uh, going for Roche. Unfortunately, they're a little bit too fast, but maybe they can just kill oh. Brink and call it a day. Oh, they just dropped that poor kitty down. Oh no. They don't lose anything really of value except for a BKB charge against. He's gonna be caught out, but able to waveform through the kinetic field, taking a solo army slash. How far is that gonna pop him? Are they gonna be able to get him all the way down? They do. Pretty important kill on the Morphling. He does have buyback, though. Oh, and these creeps, they're charging into the base. Uh, laying down the defusal charges. He's not backing down without a fight. Disruptor using that kinetic field to keep the ogre in place. Dust popped out with his final breath. Now, there's going to be a nice drag here onto the Oracle. If they can get this guy down, it looks like they might be able to break high ground right here. Godlike streak coming out for the Juggernaut. Still hasn't died since the laning phase. He's doing a phenomenal job with that full butterfly. 2k more gold. He can still level up the defusal. I mean, there's going to be that buyback from the Oracle. TPing in really, really far. Goes for that blink back, so Juggernaut not going to rip him to pieces just yet. Speaking of rip him to pieces, here's King Tekka. He's angry. He gets revenge on the Disruptor. Now, Vidi going to be the target of some of that damage, but Ricky's not too scared. He's just going to sit back, going for the reset. He's going to get struck down as Clinks rejoins the fight. And well, Healing Ward taken out. Just going for the TP. There's not a whole lot. He's able to go ahead, forcing out. And, uh, well, they'll see if they can keep him locked down after the buyback. He's going to go straight in for the Omni Slash, but through the Crimson Guard, not tickling too much now. They're, they're just going to be able to easily pick him off once that uphill mischance stops. Maybe they can go for something else here, but BKB is about. It seems like Infamous are ready to just go in, get it all done now. Juggernaut bought back for this fight. They are able to secure a kill onto the Night Stalker, but Morphling still moving forward. Going to be picking off Brink as well. Marana does not have buyback. Oh, this is looking pretty unfortunate. It's just Jug left to patrol what's left of his bin onto the tier fours. The rest of the team focusing in on those bottom racks, looking to make a creep adaptive strike. Tickles Juggernaut. And now, oh, maybe Benhaz is going to get very, very low. Clinks does have buyback. Ricky manning up against the Ogre, but uh, immediate karma for that one does get sent back to the fountain with no buyback. And there's going to be Gantz being stuck a little bit in here. Does have that replicate who wants to hop in. Oh, no. And, uh, that was a creep lasso. So Infamous, they're poking their heads up. Meanwhile, down bottom, that's going to be where the real fight goes down. They're trying to go onto the Morphling. He's silenced up, goes for the BKB. There's no replicate available. Meanwhile, up on the base, there was Klinks picking off the Disruptor, looking for another kill as well. Oh god, the Juggernaut hits the deck. There's no buyback. Solitary Judge doing what he can, but I think this might be the end. Moonlight Shadow will keep him alive for now, but the GG comes out as there's just no more damage left on the side of Fox. So Infamous, they are able to secure game number two of this best.